Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 7 of the Cityville construction series. Last time around I was filling in uh, bits around the uh, little uh, village on the southeast uh, quadrant of the map. And I also filled in a bit more in the industrial area on the northeast and I widened the interchange on the main highway on the east side. This time I'm going to bring the forest uh, path there, the green space in the northeast, down toward the highway and also move it over toward the eastern boundary of the city. So my idea is I'll bring this probably down a little bit. I'll probably bring it down to this angled bit of road here and then bring it out toward the boundary down near the highway. So probably at an angle here. So what I'm going to do first is bracket that with uh, a road. So I'll bring the road down here and I think I'll make the uh, well let's see if that works uh, yes that should work unless there's something weird here um, well that does look strange but so I'm gonna move that over one I'll move it over there okay so this will be the eastern extent of the forest here and I should be able to bring this across as well yes yes that's what I'll do and I'll bring this this road down like so. Now you can get away with these diagonal uh, neighbor crossings or neighbor connections on single tile networks where you can't on the double tile ones. Anyway. Okay, so there we go. That's going to be the main boundary there. Um, for now anyway. And what I'm going to do is bring this avenue down and let's see do I want here? I think, and I'll bring it in toward this one. I think along here. Yeah, I think that will do. What I really want here is probably an, a smooth 90. So that's what I'll do. Uh, that should be under roads and curves. There's a 90 degree avenue curve. How big is it? Uh, Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay. 
Now, it would be nice if this was a flex one and had sidewalks and stuff, but... Okay, now... Can't... No, I can't do that. Okay. So, I'll have to do this. Okay. Can I? No, I can't make a connection in the middle of that. Okay. Maybe what I really want here is a pair of 45s. I think that might be what I want to do. Curves. 45 flex. Bring, bring it up like that. And I think that lines up. It does. Good. This way, I can actually bring something off the di diagonal here. And in this case, it will be a road. There we go. So now this roundabout here makes more sense. Okay. Now, let's just see how the, oh, the budget's fine. Okay. So now, I need my forests again, and I'll bring it down along this road. Okay. Now, I need to bring it down along here.
Okay, that's the big uh, spaces, and now to fill in the small spaces. Okay. Now, I need to bring my happy little forest down this way. What I'm going to do is bring a road off here as well. And this one is going to serve as a sort of frontage road over here. Okay, so this whole area here is also going to be a forest. So I'll go ahead and build that now. I'll start over here this time. Uh, let's turn that around so I can see. Here we go. What do you know? It's an even number between the uh, edge and the uh, rail line. I'd love to say I planned that, but, well, I didn't. Okay, and fill in this side. I feel like this forest should have a name of some kind. Maybe we'll call it uh, Cityville Linear Park on account of it goes in a line. 
course, that's just dumb. Okay, that's the big areas. Now for the small ones. Okay, good. So, the remainder of this area here is also going to be industrial. Uh, this region seems to have a fairly heavy industrial um, footing already, so you see the demand for high tech is still high, so I might as well uh, build some more of it. Have an area here that's a little bit more grid like. doesn't quite work there. I'll bring it off here. There we go. That works. And here we go. This road can continue up here. And yeah, okay, that should be good. Now, water.
Oh, it looks like I missed a couple of spots on the uh, parks here. Easily solved. Okay. Now, all that's left is to zone this area. One of the drawbacks of building so many trees and stuff is it does increase the lag in the simulation. It's that many more objects that have to be considered by the uh, game engine. So it's not really that surprising. Okay. I'll speed up the simulation and let this fill in a bit. Oh, there's another thing that I should do here while I'm thinking about it. Uh, put a passenger station here. No, put them down here. And a freight station. There we go. Oh, seems we need more power. That's also not surprising. Industry does tend to use up quite a lot of electricity. So, uh, the next, so the thing to do here is to build another power plant. see what the power situation is here up to nearly 25,000 megawatt hours ooh I really should deal with that particular risk. Okay. There's plenty in the budget. I might as well just plant a fire station there and be done with it. Uh, fire coverage is good over there. Fire coverage is not so good over here. Okay. 
Okay, fire coverage is now much better. Ah, fire coverage is weak here too. Sort that out. Yeah, okay. That's an improvement. And let's take a look at the crime stats. Okay. I think I need some policing over here as well. Okay. Now look at that. I built some stuff that costs money and the uh, income went up. Uh, it basically, it just raised property values. Okay, now last time I talked about replacing this with the uh, forest stuff as well. Also, I talked about expanding this road, which I will do right now. I will, of course, have to demolish this intersection to do it. There we go, there. And there. Does that link up? No. So I'm going to have to do this. Go one more. Okay. Uh, yes, that's good. Now, I'm going to replace these with the tree parts. I don't think that's the one I want. Pine. Take these out.
Okay. Uh, personally, I think that looks better. It's kind of a buffer between the main part of the city and the industrial area and the highway as well. Um, let's uh, let's see here. Okay, it's time to take a look in here and see what uh, what items in here might be available. The university. That actually is a really excellent idea. A university. And really, what better place than down over here? Well, say over, over, well, how big is it? No, that's not so big. Actually, Yeah, the university can be the reason this little area here is here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And now, what have we got on offer here? Well, the Advanced Research Center seems like it would be a good thing to have as well. So, it would seem to make sense that it would be beside a university. So, I'll just set it up that way. Let's take a look at a few indicators. Education is high. That's good. still good. Yeah, okay. Crime's not bad. Uh, okay. Yeah. Advanced Research Center searches for answers to questions never asked. Uh, what's the uh, gimmick here? Ah, digits of pi. How many digits is that? It's 
three, one, two, three. Nine hundred and twenty million digits of pi, apparently. And the university is ah. Classes cut. Misplaced coffins in cemeteries. Okay. Now, what's the demand look like here? Yeah, the high-tech demand is actually down off the maximum now for the industrial. I think I'll leave that alone for a while. Uh, what we need now for our city is we need some more places for Sims to live. And uh, some commercial spots for them to work at. Okay, so let's get rid of this farm here. And this one. Okay. And this road can go away. These can 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 come down. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's what I'll do there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And this one can come up like so. Yeah, that doesn't quite work. What I'm going to put here, though, is a roundabout. It's really annoying that there's no shortcut for one-way road. But that's neither here nor there. Right, okay. There's that, and... Hmm. Okay, and let's see, oh yes, I'll build a road there too, okay. Put the residential types over here, and that should be good, and again. some commercial stuff in here I should put some water service in here just so that everything is all nice and functional. 
Okay. Okay, good. Now, I apparently need to look at... Health coverage. I need health coverage down in my new area. Go figure. Well... Stick a hospital down here. And education is required down here. I happen to like the Enyadi um, school, it looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, and it educates sims of all ages, so... Gone a little overboard on the budget here. But once the uh, development uh, increases, that should that should even out.
Okay, folks, and that's what happens when things crash hard. Uh, not only did I have a uh, a crash out, it crashed the entire operating system, and I don't believe that was related to SimCity. Um, so anyway, the uh, this whole area here that I had been working on, um, it crashed just before I was about to save it. Now, unfortunately, my time for this uh, part has run out, uh, so I'll call this a part, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.